Okay, today on Jake on Food Blog, we're going to be making some apple crisp and we're going to be using our crock pot. It's a nice, simple, easy way to make your apple crisp at home. Alright, so our first step is we're going to have to peel and slice up our apples. Start off at the tops, go around the sides. Get all the skin off. Just like so. Then what I like to do is I like to quarter them. Take all the seeds out of the middle. Then I'm going to just go ahead and slice them up nice and thin. Okay, so meanwhile, for the topping the apple crisp, I have three quarters cup flour, I have a half a cup of oatmeal. One cup of granulated sugar. Oh, I'm sorry, that's a half cup. A half cup of brown sugar. And out of there. I have a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And I have a half cup chopped up butter. And put that all in there. Then we're going to mix it up. So I'm going to cut this butter into our topping mixture, just like so. Just go ahead and work it in there very well. You can always add nuts or raisins or whatever else you like to this, but I just like a nice uh, old fashioned kind of oatmeal streusel topping. Okay, here we have all our apples sliced up and ready to go. Next step, I'm going to put them in the crock pot. I have a mix of uh, Granny Smith and Golden Delicious apples. I have the apples here in the crock pot. I'm going to add just a little bit of vanilla extract, two tablespoons of lemon juice. All right, now for the apples, I have a third cup of sugar that I'm going to mix with a uh, quarter teaspoon of ginger, quarter teaspoon of cinnamon tablespoon of cornstarch and then just gonna mix that together mix it together real quick all those dry ingredients and we're just gonna sprinkle that over our apples like so then we're going to follow up with our streusel topping mix we were mixing together earlier. Put that right over the top. Kind of spread it out nice and even. And then we're going to cook this on high for two hours. And then we're going to take the top off for an hour to let the top firm up. Um, or you can also cook this for uh, on low for four hours. Taking the lid off for the last hour to firm it up. Okay, so there we have it. We have our uh, apple crisp set up on high in our crock pot. So this is a nice simple way to have dessert ready after dinner or a long day at work. Okay, we've been letting our apple crisp cook for about two hours. And now I'm going to pull the lid off and let it cook for another hour. Give the crust a nice chance to harden up. Okay, here we have our crock pot apple crisp ready to go. You can enjoy it with some uh, vanilla ice cream, uh, whipped cream if you like. Remember to follow my uh, blog at jakeonfood.com or follow Jake on Food TV here on YouTube or find my Jake on Food blog page on Facebook. Oh, look at that. So yummy. <laughs>